that, that was not a joke. Guillermo told me, he's like, yeah, we go to the gym together. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, you I was... might think uh, he doesn't go to the gym. <laughs> but he does. What is he doing at the gym? Are, is he just showering or what's going on? Is there any working no, out he's happening? He's, he's really, he's very active. He is. He's always, uh, you know, chatting, um, <laughs> sitting around. <laughs> Talking with everyone, <laughs> encouraging everyone. He's That's very nice. Active. He's like a little a mascot there yeah, at yeah. the gym. Very nice, Guillermo. <laughs> Maybe do a sit up every once in a while while you're there. Yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah, so okay. I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> so you are, as I mentioned, you're a huge star in Mexico. You grew up in a show business family. Yes. And uh, what, your mom was on a telenovela. My mom, my mom, my mom was the soap opera queen. Oh, right. Okay. She made the first telenovela in Latin America. Oh, the first one. Wow. The first one in 1965. Wow. I think. No, or previous. I don't know, but she she did the first telenovela ever. What? Which show was that? Uh, it was called Senda Prohibida. And what does that mean? Uh, like uh, Forbidden Path. Oh, Forbidden Path. Mm. All right, nice. So she was huge. She was big. Yeah. And, and uh, I, I, was, uh, I wanted to be an actor since, since I was a kid because every day I had a, a day off at school, I went with her to, to set. And I, I always I was volunteering to be an extra, always. I was I want to be an extra. Please, please. So I was everywhere, in the, in the bank, in the restaurant, in the train, in the uh -huh. airplane. <laughs> you were on the Forbidden Path. <laughs> And then you moved to Los Angeles. And then what well, I oh, tried to... Oh, you made to... a huge movie. I mean, really, like, the biggest Spanish-language movie in the world, right? Yes, yes. I, it is. Instruction not included. Instruction not included. And, and you came here. And you came here I, after... Uh, I, I tried to cross over for many, many years, but nothing happened until I did this movie. And all of a sudden, you know, psh, open, the, door, the doors in Hollywood opened. Isn't that funny how that goes? Exactly. Money. Uh -huh. and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then I moved here five years ago uh, and, and started working here in the, in the U.S. And now you're making this movie, you're in the movie, and you're one of the producers of this, uh, like, adaptation of Dora the Explorer, which is a hugely popular show. That's an I, I'm very happy because uh, Dora is such a, a global icon all around yeah. the world, and she's Latina. So we... we... Yeah. So we were shooting in the jungle for uh, four and a half months, uh, in the real, real jungle. Where? In Australia. Oh, oh, the animal. There are a lot of dangerous animals but in Australia. Every yeah. animal in Australia wants to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, really. And I guess you got out alive. Did oh. any, was anyone killed? No, no, no the, the, that's good. Almost, but uh, boots. Yeah. <laughs> we, we had like three pairs of boots. The monkey, not the. <laughs> what do you like? What, no, it was really... what animals are most dangerous, and what do you really nine, have to deal with there? Nine of the most deadly spiders in the world are oh, in Australia. Spiders, oh. and, ten, and, and eight of the most deadly snakes in the world are in Australia. Yeah. And we were doing a movie there. Right. Yeah, in the jungle there. In the jungle, every single day we were. Uh, it happened to me one day. We were. I was changing my wardrobe in, in, a, in, a, in a small tent in the jungle, in the middle of the jungle. And all of a sudden, I saw a spider crawling on the chest oh. of the wardrobe lady. Oh, oh, of the wardrobe lady. Oh, yeah, boy. It, it was crawling on her chest. So I, well, I, I, I flicked it off, like... Yeah. <laughs> and then she, she saw the spider and was like, oh, my God, you saved my life. Oh. That's a, I even remember the name. That's a white-tailed spider, one of the most dangerous spiders in the world. Oh, and so then did you make her, like, your servant? Like, she had, because <laughs> that's what happens on TV when you save somebody's life. Then right? they have to do anything you say. No, I mean, the kids... No, you didn't nah, do that. Nah, nah. You have a young daughter, right? Yes. Uh, how old is she? She's uh, f almost five. Next week, she's turning five. Oh, great. So she's Dora the Explorer age, right? Kind Maybe of, a little yes. bit young for Yeah, 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 yeah. So she... was she excited about this, or did she not know what was going on? No, no, she was very excited. She she, was. Every single morning, every morning she watches Dora the Explorer. So I see, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm singing the song all the time when I'm going driving to work. So she's a big fan, and when she knew that I was doing the movie, she was really excited. Yeah. And um, she's very attached to her mom. Okay. She, I, I've been waiting all the time for this uh, daddy's girl moment forever, <laughs> and it didn't come. <laughs> <laughs> until, until... Uh, she knew that I was in the movie, Dora the Explorer movie. Ah. So her friends started asking her, your dad is in the movie? So this morning, this morning, she, she was, Daddy, 
can you drive me to the school, please? And I was like, oh, I, my, my heart was melting. <laughs> but no, she just, was, she just wanted to show off his daddy, her, oh. her daddy, I mean. Hey, you know, whatever, you take whatever you can get, right? <laughs> did she get to meet Dora, the explorer? Yes, she did. once. But oh. let me tell you what happened. I was like, I'm gonna be shooting with Dora. You won't meet Dora in person. And she was very excited. Right. So I took her to the set one day, and I was like, are you ready to meet Dora? And she was, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we knocked at the door of Isabella's uh, trailer. She opened the door and we're like, she's Dora, my, she's Dora, Itana, she's Dora. And she was like, <laughs> and then I noticed she was disappointed. Yeah. Because she was expecting to see the animated version of Dora. Right, yeah, yeah, right. It's just, it's just another kid. And she kid. was seeing a, a teenager, a six, 17 year old flesh and bone Dora. Well, she was like, mm, I that's... hope things turn around for you. I really do. <laughs> the movie is Dora and the Lost City of Gold. It opens in theaters August night. Eugenio Derbez, everybody. Thank you, Eugenio. I am Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.